I feel like the film industry is in a really interesting place. Because in my time, in the 80s and 90s, we used to look forward to watching movies. It was an event to go to the movie theater or go to Blockbuster or Hollywood Connection and rent a, a DVD or a VHS. And then for those couple of days, you would watch a movie over and over and you would sit with it. And you would talk to your friends and your friends would come over and you guys would watch the movie and talk about it. It was a moment in time that I don't think that we'll ever get back. And I feel like with the movie industry now, the reason why you're seeing all these big blockbuster films fail at the box office or bring in very little returns, it's because of a few factors. One, majority of us are now conditioned to consume media content, which films are content, on our cell phones or stream it in the comfort of our house on our TV where we don't have to pay for overpriced popcorn and soda and we can go to the kitchen and cook up a five course meal before we watch a Doom 2, right? So I feel like it's shifted so much because in 2024, movies have to compete with everything. Right? They have to compete with Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube videos. I mean, I don't know how many hours of, of videos I consume a day on topics that I'm interested in. Right, And those topics can change, but for me, I know if I'm going to go buy a phone or look at a car part or buy a TV, I start looking at every review and video on it possible. And that becomes what I consume at that time. So as someone that makes films, right? I've made four feature films, we're working on our fifth. Even for myself, it's hard for me to sit. Like it almost feels like unless the movie is really, really good, it's a chore for me to sit there and watch the film. I catch myself grabbing my phone and just looking at social media. And, and trust me, I hate it. I hate it. It's like the same three apps. Facebook, Instagram, X, and then YouTube. Same four apps. It's the, that, that's it, right? So Hollywood films have to compete with all of that, including video games, for your attention. Now, when you're a teenager, right, or a kid, you can consume movies and media all day because you have nothing but time. But as you get older and you become an adult, your time becomes more limited. It's how do I break it up between working, time with my family, my kids, time for myself, I have to study, I have to get the certification, I have to do all these things, right? And it's like, how do you fit in watching a movie when you've consumed you know, short form content or things that you're interested in all day, right? So that's one. It's the competition in 2024 is very different than it was in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Secondly, anybody can make uh, content from their cell phone, right? You have millions, maybe even billions of uploads every single day that's gonna grab a portion of the world. So anybody can make content. Two, I'm not gonna say anybody can make movies, but a large population has access to tools now, myself included, that we could never have afforded 20, 25, 30 years ago, right? The cameras that we have now, the Lumix GH7, the Sony FX3, the Blackmagic 6K, the Red Komodo, the Canon C70, I mean, you name it, your iPhone 15, can shoot such good quality that a lot of us can go out and go make films and put it out into the world, right? And we no longer have to deal with middlemen. We go straight to consumer, straight to the audience. So 
you know, it's it's one of those things where I'm sorry about my dogs, but every time I record, they send a they they tend to want to bark. Um, so then, outside of that, right, you have more competition in indie films and, and films in general, and people that can access films. You have a, a more global audience where it's not just one or two films coming out that week. We can go and consume media from around the world. It doesn't matter if it was made in Japan, Russia, Indonesia. It just doesn't matter. We as an audience can consume it. We're not blocked by the country code or anything like that anymore. So once you add that into the equation, now we're actually going to the art itself, right? The films itself. Everything nowadays is either a remake a retail, a sequel, or a prequel. And that's one of the biggest double-edged swords that's currently going on within the Hollywood system. And the reason why it's a double-edged sword is because on one hand, if, someone, if someone's investing $20 million, they want their return back, right? It's a lot of money. They want their return back. But it's a double-edged sword because what happens is you stiffen creativity not to say that those sequels and prequels and, and remakes don't have wonderful teams that put their all into it and it does take creativity to make it but the baseline of that story and those characters and that universe has already been made right so to start new it's a risk that a lot of studios nowadays aren't willing to take because the returns just aren't there anymore so what I think will end up happening within the filmmaking space is I feel like right now we're in an indie film renaissance where you'll see a lot of good indie films come out. And I don't mean Hollywood indie where it's like, oh, we have $500,000 in this B-list actor or, oh, we put a million dollar indie film together and you have all these names in there. I'm talking about like real indie filmmakers that go out there and just make it happen. You're going to get a lot of original stories and you're going to get that renaissance and then what i think is going to happen to the film space outside of your big 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 tentpole movies like your marvels or your disney's or your your universals right is film will become what theater is now right film will become what theater is now and what does that mean at one point Theater was everything, right? Oh, did you watch the new play by such and such? And then now theater is, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way, but theater is almost a novelty. You have a subset of people that enjoy theater. I think film will become what theater is, where you have a subset of people that enjoy film. And if you think of the trend that's actually taking place, you can't look at the adults who are 30 and above, right? Because we grew up with films, we'll always like films. So we may be a part of maybe another three generations, three, four generations of movie watchers. But after that, our children and their children's children, they don't consume films. My son rather watch YouTubers than watch a movie, right? They don't consume films the way that we do. They have so many options nowadays. So I really think that we're in this space where, where movies will become a novelty, they'll become like plays, and it would just be the, the morph, right? The morph of what that once was. And I wouldn't even be surprised if it, the movies morph into you know like a first person shooter type experience where the meta quest and the apple vision 7 right are here and they're these thin pieces that you just put on and you're automatically taken like ready player one and you as the viewer experiences what the main character experiences i think that's the next evolution of film but as far as like 2d film it will become a novelty in my in, in my opinion i could very much be wrong and that's okay but I, that's what I see happening, and that's where I see the trend is going. I'm Jason Park with Hyper 2 Productions.